Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley and today I'm going to take you on a six part series where I show you foundation that cover up the vitiligo. I'm not comfortable yet with showing you my vitiligo on my face, but I do have it in my face and it's the same color as my hands. I have it around my eyes, around my mouth, and around here. And today's makeup that I used was Kat Von D, shade 74. I think I can go a little lighter, but I'm gonna have to try and see. But as you can see, it did cover the vitiligo. Um, I had to use about six or seven pumps, even though she says one pump for medium coverage and two pump is full coverage. With the being vitiligo, I had to use about six or seven, but it did a job. And then I'm going to later today, I'm gonna come back and let you see how it lasts all day. Cause right now, um, it's about five minutes to seven and I'll be back this afternoon, but I'm gonna put on a full face for you guys and let you see what I'm doing for St. Patrick Day. And um, I'm gonna use this Sephora box. This is not a Sephora box, it's an auto box. Sorry. I was getting it. <laughs> I had to get it too. So let's get into putting on this makeup. Let me give you a close up shot of how it looks. And I already contoured a little bit, put on the contour, and, and I'm gonna blend everything out. And we'll go from here. Thing I want to finish is the bottom of my face. That's how I go like. I'm going to do the bottom of my face first. So I'm going to finish putting in the contour, which I'm using Fit 360. And I usually go in a little three. I don't have a forehead. I have like a three head. just an everyday makeup look that what I will wear to work that I put on every day this is just a look some of the looks that I would do every day I'm not gonna walk the red carpet so <laughs> gonna try some of their cheap blush but I don't know let me show you something happened I got this clicker to turn the camera on and off and the makeup thing was on it and it turned it off so it's gonna be a second part <sighs> these are the colors they have for like the cheap blush and the yellow thing I don't know if I'm gonna well, try because I said I would use the box and I don't I shouldn't have gotten it. That's what it is. Huh? So I think. Hmm. We'll go with that. That little. It's called Shimmer Coral. some of that pink down. I use my bronzer like a highlighter also. That have a highlighter in it. I guess I might use them both. <laughs> if, they, if this one is too, too gold, because it's like a golden color. So I'm gonna try it. I 
could be looking kind of crazy in the beginning, but at the end, it all calms down to me. So I have on my, I have on every, the bottom is filled. I guess I'm gonna do my lips. So when I get through with the eyes, they will be complete. I'm using NYX lingerie. Let me tell you about my lipstick. My daughter probably bought every lipstick that I have. She loves buying lipstick, but she don't wear it. She don't wear it, but she loves buying it. And then I would, and I'm gonna go on top with the NYX Butter Gloss because that was matte, you know, the laundry is a matte color. Now I'm going in with the eyeshadow palette. Let me try this. Yes, I should have took it out, making all this noise. I should have took it out of the box. But this is what the palette looks like. It's so crazy. I just noticed this. The palette is on this, um, plastic and I was thinking like oh I'm gonna pop everything out of here right but unless these come out why would they I don't know it was only $19 so I don't know you can't expect too much for $19 now I'm gonna go in and I had decided I think I marked them Put it upside down I'm gonna use that matte, and it's called Matte Tan, Matte Espresso, and I'm going in with this green. I'm gonna put the green on the bottom, and, and the other two wanna be on the, the rest of my eyes. Cause I think the green is really pretty, and it's pretty for St. Patrick's. I'm gonna first highlight my, this is Milk eyeliner and this is the CEO color they also have a black color let me tell you I, I always have a problem finding eyeliner that don't get on my contact and this is really really good for not getting on the contact for not and staying all day it really do stays all day and it don't move come back and I'm doing that because I just have to I have to bring my nose back to life and what I do when I say bring my nose back to life I just take what's left on here You will see that it brought my nose back to life. And with the matte espresso. That's supposed to be burgundy, but it looked really, really, really brown.
let's go with the green The colors aren't really pigmented, but I guess $19.99. What you see me doing here is trying to get the green to stay on my eyelid, but it just wasn't that very pigmented. And I didn't get this palette from Sephora. I actually got this palette from Ulta during the Christmas special sale. So I'm still here just trying to get this green to show up, but it just wasn't showing up. Here you see me reaching for a smaller brush, trying to pack this green onto my eye, but it still didn't get as green as I wanted it to get. And I'm still just working with it, but it's just, this, this set is just not pigmented. So I guess that is going to be as green as it gets. seem like every time I blend it, it just come off like, but it'll do. Okay, now that I have the eye shadows on, I'm coming in with this, uh, I can imagine how this is going to be, right? I'm coming in with this green liner to the bottom. Here I'm going in with the green eyeliner that came in the box. And I'm doing green for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I didn't bring my mascara. I'm gonna have to go get it. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and just finished up the whole look off camera because I left my um, mascara and I, I like, um, Put an eyeliner on the top of my eyes to see how it would look for the fullness of the lash so this is the final look and i used the it mascara and i used um mac primer for the, to set the makeup and overall it's a nice look for um saint patrick's day and this is the um shingling from the hair video this is day two so i think it looked good so i'll see you guys later in my next video oh and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and if you're new here become a part of the family and watch us grow together love you guys bye so it's at the end of the day. It's 4.30. I had it on from 7 a.m. to 4.30, so nine and a half hours. I didn't touch it up with blotting tissue or, you know, how you fix your makeup throughout the day because I wanted you guys to see how it lasts throughout the whole day. Usually I would touch it up a little, but I didn't. So you can see it held up pretty well. A little cracking around the mouth and under the chin. All right. Bye.